I had a guy write me this past week and he said, uh, it was a, he was updating me on a woman that he was trying to hit up maybe like a month or so ago. They met on Hinge and he reached out to her and she had responded to like one message. And then when he wrote her back, crickets. They just didn't answer, right? So this is an update to that situation. So he says, I have an update in regard to a woman who didn't respond until a month later. As a reminder, she hit me up via Hinge and I responded the next day. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're watching this, like I'm gonna try to edit some of the details. So, but again, if you guys write me and I put it on the show, I'm not trying to like answer the question and then take it down, you know? So if you don't want it on the show, don't write me. Anyway, so she responded with crickets until about a month later. I made her wait about two days before I responded. She just responded to me earlier today saying she would like to meet me for drinks. Her idea, not mine. He says, I know I'm supposed to be indifferent because I tell you guys all the time to be indifferent to the way that women are moving. Don't let it overly affect your emotions. He says, but this seems way too calculated. It feels like she wants me for short term attention. So then he says he provided the screenshots for text. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and read the text. I'm not going to show them on screen, but I will show the text that this guy's uh, had with this woman, right? So I'm going to try to edit this on the fly. So he had a prompt up on Hinge. And so she responded to that prompt. It involved a, uh, a fear he may have had. And so he put what the fear was. And she wrote back that she had a specific fear about something on TV. So then he said something to the effect of like, oh, um, I, I, I believe you. What was the show? What was the episode? Right. And so he wrote that to her on like June 30th. This chick writes back on August 1st and says, I'm my bad for not getting back to you. It's been a wild month. And then she answers this question. So then he says, Hey, my month's been wild also. And, um, Oh, sorry. See, he's, yeah, he says, my, my must be wild also. And then he's like, hey, like, so what are some of the things that happened during this past month that were like, cool for, cool for you? And then the next day, because I think he wrote her down, like he wrote her at night. The next day she responds and says, well, this, the best moment I had was when I did this particular thing with some friends of mine. And then she says, but hey, I'd love to meet up with you to talk more about it. Smiley face. All right. So. Similar to a guy that wrote me last, uh, that, that commented last week, we have a situation where a guy meets a woman on a dating app, he writes her, and then she writes back, he responds, and then she takes a month or so to respond back, right? And so now, because she waited that long, he's in his feelings about what does this mean? Does this mean that, he says here, um, it seems too calculated, and it feels like she wants me for short-term attention, right? Now, why would he think this, right? And so I was going to do a separate show about this, but I'm just going to talk about it now. So over this past week, I'm going to make I look this up correctly. There was a term that I learned, uh, and it's, it's called uh, semio, uh, semiotics. It's called semiotics, right? And so uh, for those of you that don't know what semiotics is, it's basically like uh, the way that symbols and things are interpreted. So for example, let's see. Okay. I have these, right? So let's make sure there's someone on screen. So these are my, my Beats headphones, right? So this B right here. So this B is just the letter B. Like all this is, is the letter B. And then so, that, so then what we do as humans do is we take this symbol and we add meaning to it. So obviously Dr. Dre made Beats by Dre and he's been using this symbol as the symbol for his company for a very long time. So when I show you this, you don't think B, you think, oh, that's beats. Why? Because we, because society has added meaning to this, right? Now, here's the thing though, is that in terms of like symbols or actions or things, meanings are added, not just based on how they're being used, but also the meaning we bring to things, right? So for example, we all see this and we think, okay, beats by Dre. Let's say that a woman was, was uh, grew up in a family where her dad was very, very abusive toward her and his name was Brian, but everybody called him B. So now when she sees the letter B, she doesn't think beats. She thinks I'm about to get beat by my ex, by my father B, 
you know? And so she could end up having a traumatic reaction to that symbol because when she heard the word, the letter B growing up, it equated with her getting her butt beat. All right. So now let's take this over to the dating realm where unfortunately, because men and women have their own experiences with dealing with certain things, then when certain things happen, we add meaning to them that may not actually always be there. So for example, I know in my dating history, for example, like let's say a woman was like not on time, right? Well, when I was going through theater classes, we learned to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be actually late is unacceptable because it is disrespectful to the other people that are there and that have things to do, right? So I've always taken time very, very seriously. And so anytime a woman has showed up late for a date, my initial feeling is I feel disrespected. Like, how could she not be on time? Especially when I first moved to California, I was on buses. I was on buses, yes, still getting dates. I was still getting dates even though I had no car and I was catching buses. And I would always be on time. And so it would amaze me when I would get to a place and then the girl would show up like 45 minutes late. And so I just felt over time, any woman that shows up late on a date is 100% being disrespectful to me. She doesn't care about me. She's all about herself. But is that always the case? Because there's some times where the woman got a flat tire or on the way to the date, you know, she got some bad news from her mom and she had to cancel all of a sudden. Or I, I had a, a meeting that set up with somebody this past week over Zoom that was supposed to happen uh, yesterday. And because she was out doing other things, like she was scouting stuff for a movie and having meetings, she she just, she had forgot to put it on her calendar, right? So she wasn't intentionally being disrespectful, but she realized, oh crap, my bad, I didn't mean to, I just, my day got away from me, I'm so sorry, this now, like that kind of stuff happens. And so you gotta understand that, that for as long as guys date, there's gonna be things that happen that build up instant trauma responses, whereby if we see a woman at all do any kind of thing in a certain way, we're gonna automatically assume that it's in a negative way. So let's go back to our friend here, right? So because she waited a full month to be able to reach out to this guy, his thought is it seems too calculated and it feels like based on her action, she wants me for short-term attention. And yet, all that's happened here is he reached out to her girl on a dating app and she, for whatever reason, she wasn't able to contact him for a month. He was smart in that he didn't try to double text or triple text, but at the point that she got back to him, she said, hey, my bad, things have been wild this past month, and then continued on with the conversation and then asked him out, right? So, all, so this is why I tell you guys, this is where the idea of being indifferent comes into play because a guy that is not inherently indifferent is going to read more into things and as a result of that, do things unintentionally that could cause a woman to lose interest. For example, imagine he goes to her and says, well, uh, I know you're asking me out now, but I feel like you just want me for short term and it seems too calculated and how dare you? On her side of things, A, we don't know her full story and also she's gonna be like, this, this guy's crazy, like I don't owe him anything. I, I was just, I, I just started talking to him on a, on a dating app. Now. Here's the nice thing is this is this is also results because you know guys to be fair we have a lot of negative dating experience and that makes us apprehensive or worrisome about stuff and hey I tell you guys you know you need to be looking out for red flags you need to be looking at women that have high interest versus low interest so that's not a bad exercise but you also have to throw on that if you're indifferent these things are not going to throw you off weird so for example if this were me and she came back a month later. I've had relatively positive dating experiences to where I wouldn't be automatically thinking the negative. I wouldn't be thinking, huh, she just wants me for short term. Because again, that is me thinking about what? Thinking about a relationship. So this guy's already thinking, well, she just wants me for short term, which, in his, which means in his head, he's thinking, but I potentially want her for a relationship. Relationship is not where you go to in your thought process because you do not know her. Like you saw her on a dating app, she looked hot. I get it, but the reality is you have not spent enough time with her to determine if she's even worthy of trying to take her down the relationship path. So if this had been me, I would have gone the opposite and thought, okay, realistically, it's summertime. She doesn't know me. I don't know if she had to go to a wedding. I don't know if she had things pop up. You know, I did two weeks of travel uh, during the summer and then went off and did a clinical trial for a week. So I had three weeks where I was not readily available to do anything with anybody ever, you know? And so, 
I wouldn't, I would hate to think I'd go back on a dating app and be like, oh crap, I've got to, to contact this person because my God, it's been like crazy. Let me get back in touch with them. And then the response I get from them is like, well, I mean, you just, just you didn't respond back and you just want to use me for fun. And I don't, you, you, this is too calculated. Guys, yes, women can be calculated. This is not an example of a calculated strategy. This is a woman that either had a bunch of other stuff going on, or hey, maybe she dated somebody else and it didn't work out. Or maybe she went on a family trip. Or maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't live in the land of maybe. I don't want to think about that stuff. All I care about is she reached out to me. I have a decision to make. Do I want to now go out with her on a date that she herself just asked me on? I'm taking that date. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to be so offended that a woman waited a month because during that month, I would have just been like, okay, well, she'll either, it, she hasn't talked to me in like two or three weeks. She'll either eventually unmatch with me or she'll get back to me. In the meantime, I owe her nothing. I'm going to go over here and check out other women. And you have the right to do that. And I'm not going to be thinking the whole time I'm dating these other women, but oh my God, if she gets back to me, I got to now tell her or I got to feel bad about it doing it. Like, no, she didn't get back to you. That, so, so, so again, semiotics, we're not trying to attach meaning to what all this is because we don't know nothing yet. All right. Just, just look at the facts. She matched with them and then didn't talk for a month and then came back and talked to them. I know stories of women that go on dating apps they, and all of a sudden like two creepy guys hit them up and they decide, you know what? I'm off the dating apps. And then they come back a month later saying, okay, well, let me try it again. And you know, there was that one guy that seemed to have a decent conversation. So I'll see what's up with him. Like, don't, don't live in your head. Don't live in the fairy tale dream world of your head where you're coming up with all these imaginary stories about what could have possibly happened or what her actions could have meant. Like if you still like her and you still want to talk to her and more importantly, in this case, she asked you out on a date, just go on the date and see what happens. And don't be thinking in your head, she's already setting up to hurt my feelings or she's only using me for short term. Dude, it's always short term until you guys decide to be in a relationship. And that comes three months down the line when she's asking you for the relationship. You again, should not be focusing on relationships. See, the nice thing about not focusing on being in a relationship is that the work of actually getting into the relationship is off of you. Like I said earlier, you focus on, I'm going to take her on the next date and show her the best time possible. And that's your focus. If you're just focusing on showing her the next date and making it a good date, she will take care of building up the feelings and starting to want to have conversations with you about if you're seeing other people and where you're at and what you're going to do and blah, 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 until she herself will be like, he's been very consistent and showing me a good time and I don't want to share him with anybody else. So now I got to have a conversation. So let her be the one to concentrate on actually getting into a relationship and you focus on the fun. And then, and then you won't be worrying about what does this mean when she decides to ask me out? Oh my God, I'm so offended. Like you shouldn't be. She, yes, it, we wish she would have contacted you within that month. But again, you shouldn't be trying to just build up a texting rapport on a dating app anyway. As you can see, even she didn't want to do that. Like she reached back out to you to answer your silly question. You responded back with something to try to carry on the conversation. And what was her next text to you? Hey, we should meet up. So that's why I tell you guys, women on dating apps aren't trying to be texty, chatty Cathy's and be on there all the time, just trying to talk you up. They want to go on a date. The ones that are asking you, dude, this is falling into your lap. You should not be overanalyzing this at all. Now, once you get her on the date and you'll be able to see how things go, then you can start trying to figure out, okay, and again, even with that, on the first date, you should not be figuring out where this is going. That is an exercise that happens in month three. All you should be worrying about is, based on this first date, do I want to set up a second date? Then after that second date, this date was great. Do I want to set up a third date? And you keep doing that until she comes to you and asks you for a relationship. It really is that simple. So hopefully, this answers your question. You're a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.